Hey friends, welcome back to the show. Hope everybody's well and everybody's staying warm. In today's video, I want to demonstrate to you how I make a little small wooden whistle for survival. Let's take a look. So right out of the gates, I apologize about any of the background noise. I stay full time in my RV in a park next to a large highway that's very heavy in traffic and stuff. And I don't have a workshop or workbench or anything. So we're gonna work with what we got today. Let's see what we're working with. So I would guess that the true bushcraft way of doing this is to go out and harvest some wood uh, out in the forest or whatever. But it rained all day yesterday and the woods are wet and it's kind of chilly. So instead we're working with a three quarter inch piece of oak dowel and a half inch piece of oak dowel. I went ahead and I cut a three inch piece, the three quarter inch. What we're gonna do is set this in the vise and we're gonna drill out a center hole. I have a cordless drill here with a half inch paddle bit. We're gonna drive it through the dead center of this piece of dowel, probably about at least an inch to an inch and a half. Okay, see that? We got it down about an inch, okay? Half inch. What our whole goal is here is we're gonna make a couple cuts. We want this to accommodate the size of a half inch dowel going inside of it like that. On to the next step. All right, so we got our dowel, our three quarter inch dowel back in the vise, and we have a half inch hole drilled about an inch or so in. I'm gonna take a hacksaw about halfway in, and we're gonna cut straight down about halfway through the dowel. Something like that. This time I've taken that piece of dowel and we flipped it around and we have it setting in the vise at a common 45 angle. We're gonna come back up to where the end of my drill hole is, which is about right there. And we're gonna cut straight down into that, making a 45 notch. See what we got there? There's a little notch out of there. Now it's time for us to work with that half inch piece of dowel. All right, so if you look, I got a piece probably about four or five inches extra long. So we have room to put it in the vise of the half inch oak dowel. And I made a little mark there, kind of a target. And I'm gonna take and I'm gonna file the end down on here about halfway through. All right, see that? All right, you gotta file down about halfway. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut that piece off right there. All right, well here goes nothing. Trust me, this is something that you're not gonna get right the first time, believe me. So everything we just went through with the 45 notch, the half inch hole, the dowel, all that stuff, it took me about two or three tries Let's give it a shot right now and see what we got. I'm gonna slide that little end in like that and just twist it around it so you can get that pitch. Almost. <laughs> now see where that is? I'm gonna make a mark on the end of that dowel right there and we're gonna cut that flush and we're gonna glue it into place.
Well, hey, that's going to do it for this one. Thanks so much for hanging out and watching the video. Fun little Sunday afternoon project, and trust me, this is something you have to have patience with. You didn't see a lot of things that happened behind the cameras. Uh, it took me two, three tries to get this thing right, and um, you'll get it if you have patience. Like I said, a lot of people are about instant satisfaction, and this is not one of them unless you're a detailed artist when it comes to working on these types of projects and stuff. And um, that's a loud and annoying sound. And it's the difference between getting you out of the woods or not. And you just might thank me someday. Got any comments, questions, leave them down below. Until next time, I'll see you on the next adventure. Take care.